Greater competition and falling demand have left Korea's once strong shipping industry in choppy waters. Two of the country's biggest shipping companies are facing liquidity shortages and are finding themselves increasingly isolated as other firms have decided there is strength in numbers. Kim mo has more. Korea's top container ship operator Hanjin Shipping has decided to seek a debt settlement agreement with its creditors, including Korea Development Bank. Hanjin joins its rival Hyundai Merchant Marine, which is already a month into a partial debt settlement. The two firms have been suffering mounting debts amid a global oversupply of ships and slowing demand in China. Hanjin Shipping and Hyundai Merchant Marine's total debt reached 4.87 billion U.S. dollars and 4.17 billion dollars, respectively, as of the end of last year. The two companies' fate now lies with their ship rental negotiations with foreign ship owners. Korea Development Bank has made it clear that a cut in charter fees is a precondition for the extension of debt maturity and fresh loans for Hyundai Merchant Marine. Hanjin Shipping faces similar conditions. Restructuring should be done based on the creditor's decision. If it does not work out, then the government could intervene. Experts predict the firms will experience a further slowdown as world shipping giants have announced the creation of a new alliance called the Ocean Alliance next year to counter the M2 alliance formed by world's top two shipping operators, Musk and MSC. The government is set to hold an emergency meeting with industry professionals to discuss new strategies to deal with the current slowdown and the latest reform in the global shipping industry. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.